Hey everyone, today I got another package. This is another Vega 56, but it's a sexy looking one. So let's open it on up. There we go. Yes. What is this? Oh, nothing, just extra bubble he threw in there. Okay, that's trash. There we go. Power Color Red Dragon RX Vega 56. Should be a 56, I believe. It doesn't say. Oh, well, we'll have to open it up and find out. Up. <laughs> yes, up. Let's open it up. Yeah. Did he tape both sides? Oh, okay, he taped this side. This yeah. is a used card. And it's upside down. Daddy. Yes. I'm accompanied by my son today. <laughs> Daddy. Daddy. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Daddy. Yes, fans. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's nice. Let's take a look at that. One, two, three. Good. The fans are still good. Bearings are not bad. That's interesting. They actually put the eight pin and six pin in the middle of the card. But then again, on this Vega card, only this section here is the actual PCB or the circuit board. The rest of this is all cooler, which is really nice. So, if we look at the back here, yes, it is a Vega 56, a gigabyte HD HBM2 memory. So, this is really nice. It's going to replace the one that died on me. And yeah, let's uh, get the test bench on down and plug it in and see it in action. Okay, we got it set up on a 3900X test bench. This test bench was also mining Raptorium, so it will be doing that when we turn it on. But we have it in the 16X slot, so let's power it on and see what happens. Okay, so the Red Dragon lights up on top here. I'm waiting for the actual motherboard to kick on. There we go, it just kicked on. All three fans are spinning. I have the CPU fan automatically set to maximum, so most of the fan noise is coming from the CPU cooler and not this. This is like idle fan speed right here. I can definitely tell I need to clean the fins a little bit in here, but it's, yes, it's not that dirty at all from the previous owner. Just needs a little quick blowout, which I'll do later after the testing. So let's give it a chance for it to boot up. And we are booted into my test bench, which is currently mining Raptorium. And we can now see the Radeon RX Vega 56. The temperatures are great for not doing anything. So let me throw in some overclocks and we will throw this on to Ergo and see how it works. Okay, so I got the flight sheet edited. We are still doing Raptorium on the CPU and now we're doing Ergo on the power color Radeon RX Vega 56. And we're getting 171 mega hash with the settings I got. Uh, the temperatures are still coming up right now. They haven't balanced out because it's only been running for a minute, 20 seconds so far. Uh, 40 degrees on the core, 54 on the memory. That will go up. The fan's currently at 65%, pulling 115 watts. Core at 1340, VDD at 850, memory at 847. And I also have some right there if you want to screenshot and block it real quick this is the mem tweak that works great for vega 56 cards okay so we kind of lost a little bit of video right after that i did let it run for about 45 minutes and the temperatures were really good but that was also in my basement we're now in the crypto closet which is a little bit warmer so let me get all these cards to stop hashing and cool down turn them off so it's a lot quieter and easier to work in here and i can also turn off that fan right there as well and let's come on back after that okay so now that it's nice and quiet in here and you can actually hear me talk let's install the vega 56 first the uh nice power color
Okay, so that was a bit of a stretch on the cables. I'm sure it probably got more down here, but I'd have to redo the whole rat's nest of wires. So that will be for another time. I just want it up and running. So let's uh, connect the riser. That always helps. Snap. And that installs the Vega 56. So now right below it, if I can pull the camera back a little bit here. Sorry for the shakiness. We're gonna install that motherboard right here on this plate. So let me get reset up for that. So to attach the motherboard onto just MDF, I got these little uh, sticky standoffs, which is what we're gonna use to keep it from moving around. Okay, so that will keep it nice and steady and not moving at all. Now let's work on a power supply for it. Okay, so we got the ethernet connected in the back here, and this is a variation of a Pico PSU. This is actually rated for up to 300 watts, more than likely probably peak, not continuous. Um, 12 volt input gives you a 24 pin ATX plus an extra four pin coming on out. So 24 runs over to the 24 here. They also give you a old style three and a half millimeter, three and a half inch floppy connector plus uh, one SATA and one Molex, which I have tucked away because I don't need it on here. Now you do get two four pin 12 volts and it's kind of wonky. Both of them will fit in the first pin, but <laughs> the second one is not keyed correctly, although it is pinned correctly. So you literally just gotta shove it in there and uh, mold it into the place. So yeah, they kind of had a bit of an oversight, but for 20 bucks, it runs perfectly fine because I have another one that's been running for two weeks down here and that's powering this motherboard without any issues. So power runs over, spliced out the barrel jack connector that they had on there and put it onto a PCIe six pin, which then runs right into the ZSX board. So let's power up this top rig so we can make sure that the new Vega 56 runs and this motherboard runs. Okay, we got lights, we got spinning fans, and we got lights on here, and spinning fan. The uh, inside light RGB doesn't work in here for some stupid reason in the BIOS, I don't care. I could care less, as long as it runs, that's all that matters. So let's give it a few seconds for it to turn on and we'll take a look at it on Hive OS. And we are up and running. Everything is happy and even the new motherboard is nice and happy. So let's go on over to Hive OS. And you can see that we are hashing. And here's our new card right here, the power color. Now if we scroll up, 1.256 giga hash on Ergo. Can't beat it. And if we switch over, the uh, test rig since recording down in my basement to moving it now has been renamed to Nick Fury. So shoot on over there. There are no GPUs right now. It's just the CPU and that is mining Raptorium. And if you know anything about Raptorium or if you've watched my video, never take this for granted because it fluctuates wildly, but it is running the way it should be. So I'm gonna shut the rigs down one more time cause there's one other little product I wanna show you and I don't wanna talk over all these. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I got everything shut off because I want to show you one more little thing that came in the mail. And this is from CryptoShaped. And he has these little PCIe 1X riser hold tie downs that keep these things from sliding out. So we're going to give these a shot. So for these clips to actually work, there has to be like this little lip on this side, the far side of the 1X slot. Some of the 16X slots do have them. Unfortunately, on this motherboard, it does not. It's nice and flat. And these clips also will not work on shielded X16 slots because there's not that little lip. But any of the 1X slots, and actually let me take the camera on over here real quick and show you another motherboard. This one, you can see here, there's a 1X slot right here. Let me get my light. 1x slot and it has that little lip on the right side then it has two x16 slots right next to them and those also have the lip so your mileage will vary depending upon 
what manufacturer and what type of slots they felt like using. But as long as you have that little lip on the right side of the PCIe slot, you're good to go. Unless, of course, you might have a uh, capacitor that's blocking you, in which case, uh, good luck. But let's get one of these installed now. Get it on there, and you push on these far corners here. Click, click, there. Real easy. And I can do it to this one as well. It's one, two. See, that was not gonna come out at all. Unfortunately, the way they designed this motherboard, I can't do it for these other two. But let's do one more, I think I can. Okay, and here's another example. So it goes over this way, hangs over, and clip, clip, and there you go. Simple as that. So if you're interested in these, these are made by one of our own Mining Misfits moderators, Crypto Shaped, as you saw the sticker. You can find him in the Mining Misfit Discord, or I will also leave a link to his website in the video description below. Hmm. So let's recap today. We added in the PowerColor Vega 56, which runs great. We added in another 3900X motherboard, currently mining Raptorium. And we also put on where we could the nice little 1X PCIe riser clips to keep them from falling out. So let's turn everything back on and get noisy. There's one. Where's the button? There it is. And there's number two. So thanks everyone for watching. Thumbs up, please. Share the video around. Come say hi to me, CryptoShaped, and everyone else over at Mining Misfits Discord. And I will see you on the next video.